Hi, this is Roger with Agland Co-op, and today I'm out looking at an alfalfa field uh, with the price of feed, especially alfalfa, $300 a ton or so. Um, you want to make sure you're getting everything and not feeding insects. So what I did today, um, you can use a sweep net to collect insects, or you can use a five-gallon bucket. And you put them in a bucket and shake them loose. And as far as filming some of this, I I shook them on the pickup hood, so they're easier to see. But you you take about 30 random plants. You know, don't be picking the ones with the holes in the leaves like this. That's kind of damage. You'll see the pinhole damage. So it's not really bad. Sometimes um, when it does get bad and harvest is delayed, um, you can look across there and it kind of looks frosted, like a white top. And that's all the fraying and the feeding on the tips of these leaves. Um, you can also see that this was just in the bud stage, early bud. Uh, there's no flower here, but um, it's really early bud. So when I shook them on to the hood, Make sure I can see where I am, okay. Close to my finger there. Ah, I got a couple of them performing even. Um, they're wiggling around, so that's really small. They'll get up to probably an inch long. So they're really small now. Uh, they got a ways to go to develop, and you know that they from this stage they'll continue growing then they'll pupate, fall to the ground and pupate in the little webbing and then they'll hatch back into the adult later and that's how they'll overwinter and a lot of them anyway and next spring they'll come up and lay new eggs in the alfalfa plant. So that's what we have now. Um, they are small, there's not a lot of them but uh, with the price of alfalfa this year, it, you know, a lot of it's $300 a ton at auctions. Uh, that could be coming down with, with new harvest, but uh, a lot of that's going to be less than normal too. So, And a big area needs the feed. So, um, And I hear over east in Wisconsin some of that froze out. So you want to make sure that you're checking this. Uh, these are small. we got a ways to go. But the alfalfa, if it wasn't rain forecast or chance to rain every couple days I would think this guy would be cutting it pretty soon um, so it hasn't bloomed yet but it's in the bud and getting right there uh, any questions um, if you would spray now you have to wait a week before harvest so ideally you would harvest it and then watch the regrowth and that was the old recommendations harvest watch the regrowth see if it comes back well if it doesn't then you spray well, if it doesn't, you've delayed it and reduced your yield, so uh, you really want to have a good idea how much there is, how much there's going to be, uh, what the chances are of problems will be. So get out and scout it now, or have us do it, give us a call. Uh, you may want to harvest it, get it off, and spray it right away. So uh, be thinking about your options, uh, and get your other projects done so you can work on this. Thanks. This is Roger with Eggland Co-op.